One of the illogical agendas that's been pushed in recent basketball history is this idea that if you're a point guard, that somehow automatically qualifies you to be a head coach. Why? This is an agenda within the Kirch, uh, the, the, the Kirch, the coaching realm. This is going to be a short one. That's what she said. Hit the like button. I can't stand Chauncey Billups. Never have. I thought he was very overrated as a player. They're, they're trying to put him in the Hall of Fame. Why? Chauncey Billups is not a Hall of Fame basketball player. He was a good player in his era. He's not an all-time great. Hall of Fame means this person has to be mentioned when you talk about the history of the game. Why would he be in the Hall of Fame? He's not. He shouldn't be. If he's in, take him out. As if the Hall of Fame means that much, you've got to the point where people are just going to get in because we have to put people in. You're at, you're at this point of sports now. For the next, for the rest of your life, a lot of these Hall of Fame classes, well, we got to put somebody in. Who's left? All the true legends are in. But beyond that, this agenda that you play point guard, so you should be a coach. Why? It's pushed to an extent where this person has no experience and they're getting jobs. Steve Nash. Where did Steve Nash coach? Before the Nets. Where? Chauncey Billups. He's on ESPN. When has this ever worked? Please tell me in sports, when has this ever worked where guy on TV talks about sports and then gets hired to coach the team and then it works when and if it has worked what's the percentage of it actually working and it's something about ESPN you know Jeff Saturdays on NFL Live crying over over a uh, police brutality one day and then the next day he's coaching the Colts in the middle of the season and how did that work what was the point of that Herm Edwards, he's he's ranting and raving, and then he gets a job at Arizona State, ruined the program. And they're still climbing out of what he ruined the program to be because he took Arizona State back 60 years, Herm Edwards. Now he's back on ESPN living in Connecticut. Chauncey Billups is not a head coach. He's not a GM. He's not an executive. I didn't even think he was good on ESPN. He said nothing uncommon. He was pushing the same agendas. Chauncey Billups does not have what it takes to be a successful head coach in the NBA. He wants to be buddies with the players. He does not raise his voice. He does not correct them. He does not discipline them. They got blown out as I record this last night by 62 points. It has not worked since he's been there. I can't stand Damian Lillard, but your star player wanted to leave. You have Scoot Henderson, great talent. Scoot Henderson is not a point guard. He's a shooting guard. They're trying to force him to play point guard. He's not that type of player. You don't even have the discernment. Or, or How do you not see that? He's a two guard. Simons is a two guard. Sharp is a two guard. They're not a three. They're not a one. So literally, you have three shooting guards who you're playing at the same time. Ayton, I don't know what's wrong with DeAndre Ayton. He has like no heart, no soul, no force. He's a letdown from what he was in college and what he should have been. Ayton has talent that most people don't see. So most people think Ayton, he's just rebounding in defense. No, Ayton should be getting 20 and 10. But either he don't get what his he doesn't get how to be that effective, or he's not being put in that position because Phoenix used him improperly, which is why he wanted to leave. Aiton wanted to leave Phoenix because he wanted the ball more. He goes to Portland; they're using him in the same role. These players, these, these, it's like these coaches and scouts. What are they looking at? What are they doing? Chauncey Billups should have never been hired, and he should be fired. But don't worry, he'll end up right back on ESPN with that worthless broad Malika Andrews and baby mama body Kendrick Perkins. If LeBron got off the EPO, he'd be built like Kendrick Perkins. And with that said, I'm up out of here. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Donate to the Cash App, support the channel. That is it. And let's not forget the fact that Chauncey Billups has that extra my son lip.